guys it's me your girl with the broke girl hair care routine here to share with you how i finally broke my natural 4c hair growth plateau trust me okay i know the struggle of having little to no money to spend on hair care or even worse having money but no access to the products i actually like for my hair but fear not guys because i found seven things that helped me overcome all of that so let's start from the beginning so before we get into the rest of the video please please i urge you to subscribe to this channel subscribe to this channel to get more hair care tips to watch me on my journey let's help each other grow our hair let's help each other retain length you know in a cheap way whether you have the money or not you can retain it well at least a little money but it doesn't have to be serious spending okay you can retain that lens i decided to grow out my natural hair after a big chop in november of 2018 in the first two years, I managed to retain about 8 inches of length throughout my hair, which was pretty good, if you ask me. However, once I hit the two-year mark in 2020, my hair just seems to stop growing. I was deep conditioning, I was keeping my hair in protective styles, especially mini twists, but it just wasn't retaining any length. Now, during this time, I was a busy student at a federal university. I had so many school expenses and runs to handle that I couldn't even think about spending money on hair care. But then in April of 2023, I stumbled upon a blog post about how rosemary oil can promote hair growth and all of that. So this led me down a rabbit hole, guys. This discovery led me down a rabbit hole of researching hair oils and Ayurveda. I realized I had been missing out on all these benefits for too long. Guys, so I started using rosemary oil, but at first I didn't have a routine or moisturize my hair properly. It wasn't until July 2023 that I came across videos on this mini braids protective style and I decided to give it a try. I installed mini braids, I massaged my scalp with rosemary oil, and I started moisturizing my hair twice a week. So I started moisturizing my hair twice a week. This was from not moisturizing at all to moisturizing twice a week. So when I finally took down the mini braids, I was amazed to find that my hair had grown and retained one whole inch in just one month. That was when I knew I was onto something. Another change I made was limiting my use of combs on my hair. You see, my hair is fussy, fine, fragile, prone to breakage. So using combs too often was doing more harm than good. I also reduced how often I deep conditioned. I started doing it just once every three months which helped me reduce hair fall and I started washing my hair once a month instead of weekly like I previously did and this gave my hair a chance to actually retain length, to retain moisture. This gave my hair a chance to breathe. Guys, leave your hair alone. If you're a type 4 hair natural, please leave your hair alone. Stop doing too much and your hair will grow. But, but, but... But the biggest game changer for me was starting to moisturize my low porosity hair using this LCO method. LCO, that is liquid cream oil method. We have other different methods, but I chose the LCO method because I just read that it's the best for low porosity hair. Before, I wasn't moisturizing at all, but now I use glycerin as my liquid, mega growth leave-in strengthener as my cream, and shea butter as my oil. Now, I'm not promoting any hair product, guys. I am not. I chose that particular leave-in conditioner because I found that it has so much sleep and my hair loves sleep. So that was just the reason I chose it. I don't know if it has any special benefits or all of that, but I liked the ingredients and I loved the sleep. So I realized that our hair is like a plant. It needs to stay watered to grow. So wet hair doesn't mean moisturized hair. 
I, I don't know, I don't think you caught that well. Wet hair does not mean moisturized hair. And that was something I had been missing before. I also simplified my hair care routine by using only one leave-in conditioner at a time, making sure it didn't contain coconut oil. My hair just, just doesn't like coconut oil and that's okay. That's, that's okay. Sometimes keeping things simple is the best approach. So to keep my hair moisturized and soft, I started using humectants like aloe vera gel and glycerin, which trap in moisture. By the way, they are very good for trapping moisture and it kept my hair moisturized, hydrated for days. Now, I'm not really sure if um, aloe vera gel is a humectant, but I'm sure about glycerin. However, I use both products interchangeably as a base product before applying my um, leave-in conditioner and my oil, which is shea butter. Okay, another thing I did, I switched my protective style from mini twists to mini braids. And guys, this, this really gave my hair a difference. It reduced breakage and I retained more length. You see why I told you, you need to research. So if I didn't start doing mini braids, I would have kept on with the mini twist trend and my hair would have kept breaking. I just felt mini twist wasn't enough to protect my hair while I was, you know, going about my day. I also began incorporating Ayurveda oils and water rinses into my routine, which I share on my channel, this channel. These things, they have made a huge difference in the health of my hair and I haven't regretted my decision ever since. Now I want to be transparent with you. Um, my journey to length retention wasn't easy at all. It involved a lot, a lot of research, prayers and experimentation. Yes, yes, I prayed. Okay, I prayed. I watched countless hair YouTubers. I heard their experiences. I heard their stories. But I quickly learned that what works for them may not work for me and vice versa. So I prayed for my hair to grow. I asked God to guide me to what my hair loves based on the resources available to me. My hair is unique. My hair has its likes and dislikes. I like to think of my hair as a person, you know, as a separate girl with her own hates and loves, her own likes and dislikes, okay? So it was up to me to experiment and create a hair care routine around the products my hair loves, only the products my hair loves. I know it can be discouraging to see others with long hair, long, healthy, luscious, thick hair. But you, you watching, hmm? remember, everyone's hair grows at its own rates, okay? The rate at which your sister's hair may grow would not be the same rate as yours. Or the rate at which your friend's hair grows wouldn't be the, rate, the same rate as yours. That's just life, you know. The same way we have different personalities, our hair has its own personality it's not going to grow at the same rates okay so you have to understand that some people may have effortless length retention what do i mean by that like they don't have to do much to retain as much length in fact within the first few years after their big job they will literally do nothing and their hair will grow well others like me we can't do nothing we have to work at it we have to put in the energy we have to understand our hair but I want you to know, it's not a competition. Growing our hair, retaining length is not a competition. The most important thing is that your hair is healthy. And when it's healthy, it will naturally grow. But at the end of the day, please do what works for you. So be patient and consistent. Trust me, it is worth it in the end. And hey, if it worked for me as a broke girl with no money, <laughs> it can work for you too. Keep experimenting, keep researching, and don't give up. Your hair has its own unique journey, and I can't wait to see what lies ahead for you, for us. Okay, so please, 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 if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, share it to your friends, someone may, you know, find this information useful. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. I'm so glad you made it to the end. Please don't forget to subscribe and tune in to my other videos. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye.